solving this problem, we want to establish the identity on the left to, that it's equal to the right. So first thing I'm going to do is just convert the numerator and denominator to their most basic components. So I'm going to get sine of theta over cosine theta minus cosine theta over sine theta over sine theta cosine theta plus cosine theta over sine theta. So uh, on top, what happens is I get sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta and then um, over sine theta cosine theta on the bottom I get sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta all over um, sine theta cosine theta so this is a trig property it's just equal to one so I'll just write that um, I'll go ahead and rewrite these so you can see the reciprocation. So sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta over sine theta co cosine theta times, and this is flipped over sine theta cosine theta over one. These cancel out. And what I do is I pull out a negative one. So instead of this, I get cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta and this is a property, it's a negative one, so this is the same thing as cosine two theta. Um, but cosine two theta can actually be converted to, um, uh, can be converted to um, two cosine squared theta minus one Maybe I didn't even do that originally. So then just distribute the negative one, you get one minus two cosine squared theta. That's it. All right, that, that's, that's how you prove that. All right, hope that helps. Uh, thanks for watching.